we're going to use the if, the else if, elif, and the else to make the hardest game ever in the world ever. Let's do it. So I'm going to start off with just some kind of print statement so I can tell someone something. Do you know, here's a great trick, right? I'm just going to select all of this because I'm going to use print all the time. I'm going to copy it and I don't have to keep printing that. Okay. Welcome to the hardest game ever, ever, never, ever. Check it out. Haha, -ha, I can just print out here. You see a dog. What do you do? Now, the player has to type in something. And all options are generally you die because this is a 1988 game. It's a text based adventure. The hardest types of games. You're going to see why. Okay, right. We first need to make it so that the user can now type something in. How do you do that? Well, you type some random variable. Thingy, pizza, fish. I'm going to say choice because that's kind of understandable. Input. Input. And then we say time to type. Just tell them to type. Type your choice. Okay. So um, now it's time to do an if statement. So if choice equals equals, you have to type that, this uh, string that they type in. So let's say if choice equals pet dog. Now you can't type directly underneath the if, it's got to go indented. So you've got to move it over, over. I'm going to type, oh, look at that, I've got the print ready to go. If choice equals pet dog, the dog explodes. Game over, you die. It was literally this hard. Okay, and now another choice. Or else if, and the way you type that is elif. Got a bit lazy there. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be super lazy. I'm just going to copy all this. Yeah, paste it there. What did I forget? Oh, I just look the colon. You can't forget that colon. Every if or an LF or an else has to be matched with a colon at the end of it. Almost cause an error there. Okay. I'm going to copy all that and just paste it over here. And now I can just change it. All right. LF, which means else if. You can do as many LFs as you want. Loads of different options. LF choice equals say hello. Hilo, yeah, let's leave it. Say hilo, hilo. Yeah, the dog still explodes. Game over, you die. I think that's a fair outcome. Excellent. So now we have to have the statement that wins the game. Let's say um, something really simple and predictable because you want a few people to win. You know, let's make it easy on the 1980s game standards. Let's say something simple like say to dog. All caps, what does one snowman say to the other? I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Everyone's got to type that. And the answer is, of course, it smells like carrots, says the dog. And finally, at the bottom, we need to put in something. So that, let's say if they type in something completely random, like fishy, fishy, Brazil, toast flying antelopes. The computer can say back to them, Jua? We're going to do that. Um, else, else, you don't need to have a choice because else basically means, look, if you say fishy, fishy, it checks. Does fishy, fishy match pet dog? No. Does fishy, fishy match say hello? No. Does blah, 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 blah. Gets down to the end. Else, if they didn't say any of these things, didn't match up. I'm sorry, failure, failure, failure. We're going to print to you. Print Jua not make any sensicals. Type again. Now you could actually put in a, a while loop on all the side of this. So I mean if you wanted to make the game loop and loop and loop and loop, I'd go right up the top and after um, print I'd put in like while true and I'd knock everything over. Now, I'm actually not gonna do that because the trick is 
to make sure you've got a working program before you try and start doing fancy things. Right, it's time to play the game and see what happens. So I didn't get any errors, which is amazing. I typed a lot of text there and I totally expected errors. You should never do what I did. Always run your program after a few lines to check your errors are there. Because if you wait till the end, you're gonna have to, you have no idea in this massive sea of text where those errors are. So, all right, let's do it. I'm gonna check the else statement first, right at the bottom. That was what happens if the user types har -la -la -la. It should say gr not have any sensicals type again. Okay, now I can actually type again because I didn't put that while true in. So I'm just gonna restart the program. I sort of sneak this one in. So that's it. You can use an if, else, and elif for controlling motors, for example. Like, what about W? Instead of saying print something, you can say print something and then activate motor. What about controlling lights? You can say red to type red light on, and then it print red light on, and then below that the command, you know, um, pipe a red light on, and it will turn on. Okay, so this is a keyboardy control mechanism as well as many, many, many other things. Alright, you can do mad stuff with this. Off you go.